Developing the Nori D nodule project without causing serious harm to the marine environment is a core objective for the metals company and a prerequisite for the International Seabed Authority to permit commercial production. This is why the Environmental Impact Statement, or EIS, is the largest and arguably most important component of the Nori D exploitation application to the ISA. Our Environmental Impact Statement is the outcome of a decade-long exploration work program that started with our first offshore campaign in 2012. This work program was executed in collaboration with researchers from the world's leading marine institutions and expert industry contractors. Over 100 studies have been conducted in total. First, to characterize the marine environment on the Nori D area, also known as environmental baseline, and then to monitor how this environment was impacted by our pilot technology to collect nodules from the seafloor and lift them to the surface. This scope and depth of research for an environmental impact assessment for a natural resource project is unprecedented. On land, EIAs for resource projects typically focus on the largest and most vulnerable species that exist above ground, with little consideration for smaller organisms like microbes and biodiversity below ground. In the ocean, we investigate biological communities that exist throughout the water column, from the largest mammals and fish in the uppermost sunlit zone to the microscopic organisms that live in the sediment and make up the majority of living biomass at the abyssal seafloor. How do we make sense of the hundreds of terabytes of environmental data collected in the Nori D area? Based on a public consultation with deep sea researchers, Nori structured the assessment around five key potential impacts, each investigated by a team of specialist researchers. One, plumes. Two, noise. Three, ecotoxicity. Four, biodiversity. And five, CO2. Each part of the assessment required thousands of hours of high-tech equipment deployment, data capture, and intensive analysis. All underlying environmental data are shared with public databases like the ISA's Deep Data and UNESCO's OBIS database on marine biodiversity. Once completed and submitted as part of our exploitation application for the Nori D nodule project, the EIS will provide the International Seabed Authority with a science-based assessment of the impacts of our proposed operations, enabling the regulator to make informed decisions.